Why is do not age different from the rest? Well, we only have bad copycats right now. You know, supplement companies will spend $10 million on marketing and not a penny on research. The thing is that even if they don't care about people's health, even if their only thought is to make money, they're still doing the wrong thing when you look at a long time horizon. Yes, they may make millions today, but in the future, their business is just not gonna survive. Well, Do Not Age was actually born out of necessity. So there's ingredients people can take right now to reverse the aging process, and nobody was providing them in the right dosage at the right purity to consumers. And people are waking up, you know, supplement sellers, untrustworthy, they put profit before people's health, and they'll sell anything that people will buy. That's why like, if you go on certain companies' websites, <laughs> you'll see 5,000 different SKUs. Um, obviously, all those things aren't gonna move the needle for consumers. So basically, people didn't have any good options. Then you look at the scientist side of thing, the, the, the ones that are working on a healthy lifespan, and they weren't getting enough funding. So you have the general public, totally unsure what to do about their health, what to take, how to take it, where to get it from. And then you have researchers that need funding and support. So Do Not Age sits in the middle and solves two problems because consumers have somewhere they can go knowing that the only products they order are actually gonna help them. And researchers have somewhere they can rely on for funding and support.